Hi, in this video, I will talk about insert record set. You know, we have a record set, insert record set, update record set, or del delete uh, from operations. These are set based operations, and we are using in this in uh, SQL statements a lot. Uh, but if you want to use in query framework, you can use uh, like this. Let's look at an example. Uh, I have a table uh, called billings coming hither, uh, this table. I want to insert all the records from this table to my test table. Of course, you can do lots of different uh, things, filtering or joining, etc. But in this example, I want to uh, I want to make it very simple. Uh, I took two fields from this table and I am uh, mapping these two table two fields to my test table. Uh, this is by mapping. Uh, I created a map for this, and this map is uh, generated like this. This is a container, as you can see. So. I inserted uh, this. Uh, this uh, basically says uh, maps two two fields from one table to another. Uh, when I uh, run this query, uh, insert record set query, uh, it no, it automatically maps these fields and uh, creates a. Uh, set base uh, insert uh, query and run that query in SQL and your uh, your uh, operation is completed. So let's run this uh, code and see the result. Uh, I think okay, this is my table as you can see it's right now empty. Let's run this job from here. Yes, class is completed. Let's refresh this table. Okay, I have lots of records here, thousands of records, and it was very fast as you can see because it's a set based operation and it's like uh, doing one, uh, one process uh, for multiple records. Uh, so it's the best practice to use if you have these kind of requirements. And now you can use with query framework too. I hope it's helping. Happy Ducks.